there are quite a number of options in the settings drop down. Let's look here at them and let's look firstly at grid style, the grid style. I can set the spacing of a grid. I've done that at a meter here. The X and Y spacing can in fact be different. Ignore the Z spacing for the moment because we've not allowed DCAD yet to work in 3D uh, and we have a bold step uh, every 10 steps and I'll explain that in a moment. The grid's going to be above the drawing, could be below the drawing and we've set snap to grid nose and show the grid. We can change the type of marking that we have uh, for lines if we want and the bold step can also be changed. So there's quite a lot you can do in there. So our grid is set. What that means is if we go back here, snap grid on off, we've turned the grid on at the moment and we're snapping to it. So if I use the line command, sorry, if I go draw and line, you might notice that I can jump to these grid points that are here. And so I can easily draw uh, a one meter uh, square there. I could, and you might notice that that line's relatively thick. That's because I'm drawing on a line where I've got a thin, uh, sorry, a thick line type associated with it. Control T puts it back to a fine line. So you can see I'm drawing to these grid points. I can find any one of those. I'm snapping to them. So I can find small points and larger points. So I've got my major grid which is um, well, one meter grid and as I zoom in you can see we see the smaller, ten smaller steps that are each, each running between those. So we have a hundred mil grid if you like and a one meter grid running. F9 can be used to turn off our snap and you can turn it off in this way so snap the grid on or off, the grid is now gone. So you should be able to see that the settings here drop down is going to be quite important to you. We've dealt with the grid style and you might like to experiment. A, there are a lot more options there. Object snap on and off means that if object snap is on, let's say I set O snap to mid, it means that I can draw a line from the mid of that line. I've picked up that line there. You'll notice that tracking's not on at the moment. F8 turns tracking on. Tracking's now on. I can head across here and then go maybe at a 45 degree angle out there. So O snap was on. We were able to find that midpoint. But if O snap was off, now L for line, we can't find the midpoint until we actually turn it on to let's say end and it will jump to the end of that line. So you can control your O-snap settings in that in that way. My preference is to use O-snap turning single O-snaps on and off as I need them. If we go to object snap this pops up the whole suite of options for object snap. You remember we left it set at end point. But you can set end point, uh, center for the center and what else? And midpoint. So three O snaps are now running. So I could go L for line, find an end point, and then hopefully come across to a midpoint. We can't actually find the midpoint until we turn midpoint off, sorry, on, and now we find that midpoint. So although three were running, um, DCAD was making a best guess as to which one we needed. So there you're, they're the settings. You can set your text style with a box here. You can create new text styles. I won't bore you with lots of detail here. Same thing, set a dimension style, how you want your dimension styles to work. Point styles, again, quite complex but very, very powerful. You can have all sorts of options running as far as the point is concerned. Have it on or off or marked with a big cross or whatever symbol you want. Uh, Multi-line styles, there's another movie showing you how to draw um, double brick walls and put windows in. The image manager will enable you to manage the photographs from your camera, your digital camera and so on. Another image, other scanned images that you want to put in here. Attribute edit and attribute manager. We don't have any symbols here with attributes in them, but they are replaceable text parameters that often make life a lot easier. We particularly use them, use them in our title block area to generate that sort of information. That's a quick look at the settings drop down.